Hello everyone, today we are going to be doing some statistics and we are going to find the mean of the data summarized in a given frequency distribution. So what we have here is we have speeds per hour and these are car speeds per hour of um, the speeds that people drive and this is the frequency so we'll just create a scenario for this problem and just say that this is the speed limit in a certain area that is driven by this many people this is the frequency this is how many people drive these speed limits to a particular area so we have 26 people who go between 42 and 45 miles per hour. We have 14 people who drive between 46 and 49 miles per hour. Seven people who drive between 50 and 53 miles per hour and so forth. So the first thing we want to do in a problem like this is we want to find a midpoint for the speeds. So to do that, what we want to do is we want to add each one together and then we will divide it by two to find the given midpoint for each one so for the first one 42 plus 45 that's what we would do 42 plus 45 okay and then we would divide that by two which is 43.5 and 43.5 is now the midpoint for this one now you can do the same thing with all of these you can add 46 and 49 and then divide by 2 to get the midpoint you can add 50 plus 53 and then divide by 2 to get that given midpoint or you could look at the class size of all of these so we have 42 and 46 the difference between 42 and 46 is 4 we have 46 and 50, the same difference, four. So what you can do is, instead of calculating all of these, you can just take 43.5, and then you can just add four more, which will be 47.5, and then you can do the same thing, which will be 51.5, 55.5, 55 and 59.5. Okay, so that is the first thing you want to do. And I have actually started a new little graph down here because just to do it over and just to have a little bit um, more room. So we're going to call this column the X column. And the reason why we're going to do that is because the formula that we will be using, we're, we're going to use X and we're going to use F. That is the formula. So we'll just instead of writing speed per miles and all that we'll just do F so we'll um, fill in here the midpoint for each of those values that are listed right here so instead of putting these values in we will put these values in which are all the midpoints because those are the numbers that we are now working with so we have 40 3.5 five, 47.5 51.5, and 59.5. So those are all of our midpoints for each of those. And then I'm going to distribute my frequencies, which are right here. I'm just going to do, I'm not going to do anything with those. I'm just going to put them where they were in the graph up top. So we have 26, 14, 7, three and two okay so once you have done that then the next thing that you want to do because you want to go back to your formula this is the formula the formula is f times x so you want to do exactly what that formula says do you want to multiply x and f so we're going to multiply each one of these and we'll put what we get right here the sum right here so for the first one we have 43.5 times 26 
which is 1,131. The second one we have 47.5 times 14, which is 665. For the third one, 51.5 times seven, that is 360.5. The third one, which is 55.5 times three, that equals to 166 times five. And for the last one, we have 59.5 times two, which equals to 119. All right, so then the next thing that we wanna do is we wanna add all of these figures up. We wanna add every single one of them up so that we can come up with a sum, one number. And the number that we will get from that would be 2,442. This is what all of this total. So we multiply the X times the F, and these are all, this is the sum from all of those, and then we added them. So for the equation, the next thing that we want to do is we want to add our frequencies together all of our frequencies because like I said with the equation this is X now you multiply it at X times F I'm sorry and that's the top half of the of the equation so this is done already that's what we done the next step calls for us to divide what we got here by this so the frequencies so we want to add all of the frequencies up so we have 26 14 7 3 and 2 we want to add all of those up and when you add all of those up you get 52 so now our problem looks like this so now we have 2442 divided by 52 Okay, so you go ahead and divide that up, and then what you will get would be, let me see. So after you divide those two numbers, what you should get should be a long, crazy number, which will be 46 which is a crazy number. So what we wanna do is round this number off. So we're gonna to round to the nearest, we'll, we'll, we'll go two. So we'll, we'll round, we'll go to the nearest 10. Okay, so 46.9, nine of course is higher, five or higher. So we'll take this six and we will make it a seven. So our answer to this problem will be 47. And that is it. That is it. That is the whole entire problem. It is kind of sloppy, but I just wanted to put this video out there. So I did it quickly, but I just hope that everyone can understand this because statistics is crazy. So just a real, real quick brief run through. So this was our problem. Whatever your problem is, they all look the same, whatever the scenario is. If you're doing a problem like this, then you have the two numbers like this, 50 between 42 and 45, 46, 49, whatever the numbers are. Basically, you get the midpoint, and if you don't know how to do that, you add the two numbers, and you divide by two to get your midpoint value, which is this number right here. You take your midpoint value, and you multiply it by each frequency. So each midpoint value is multiplied by each frequency until you have something that looks like this. Your midpoints and your frequencies are multiplied and this is the sum of each one. Then you add all of your sums together and you should have a very large number or some kind of number and that is the top portion of your problem which is good because it satisfies this part of the formula and then you just add all of your frequencies together to come up with whatever number you want to come up with ours for this problem was 52 and then you divide 2442 by 52 which will give you this long crazy number which you will then round off and get 47 so i hope this helped thank you